After verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first and last name and date of birth, place your patient in a supine position with their arms above the head. For the patient's comfort, place a pillow or an inclined plane under the patient's head. You can also place a leg elevation pillow under the patient's knees. This exam can be performed head first or feet first. Center the internal axial plane laser light on the appropriate landmark. Here we use the jugular notch of the sternum. Make sure that the lateral laser light is set at mid thickness of the chest and that the longitudinal laser light is placed on the median sagittal plane. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform proper hand hygiene, such as use of a rub with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Select your patient from the work list, then click Patient Selection. Verify that the pre-filled information is correct and fill in the patient's weight and height. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches the one indicated. Note that the procedure shown here, the patient's orientation is feet first. Since this is preloaded, if you have the patient head first, you would need to make that change here. After verifying the scan parameters, click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and initiate the acquisition when the buttons flash. Repeat to obtain a lateral view. Click Next Series. Place your slices box on the AP localizer in such a way as to cover the lung APCs to the lateral costophrenic angles. On the lateral scalp view, check that the location of the slices box is at the mid thickness of the patient. The scan area should be extended from the lung apices to the posterior costophrenic angles. Verify the consistency of acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Next, check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of the chest angiography, there should be at least one reconstruction of the chest using a smooth filter for the analysis of the mediastinum and a sharper reconstruction filter for the study of the lung parenchyma. Click the Smart Prep icon to check the bolus tracking settings. On the right screen, place the position of the control slice usually just below the carina. At least one tracking image should be obtained at this level before the arrival of contrast media. A low monitoring time and a low threshold of enhancement should be chosen for a quick acquisition start. Using the keyboard, move the table and launch the acquisition to obtain the control slice. Before starting your scan, program the injector with your service protocol. If desired, you can set a region of interest, or an ROI, in the pulmonary trunk of the control slice for automatic triggering of the scan. Some technologists just watch the tracking image for contrast arrival in the pulmonary arteries. Ideally, you can choose the volume to be injected according to the vascular time studied. Here, the vascular time of the chest angiography is about 10 seconds. So we will try to not inject beyond this time. The injection can be stopped manually if the scan ends before the injection completes. Depending on the venous access, it may be necessary to try to inject the patient with a high flow rate in order to obtain an excellent enhancement of pulmonary arteries. Click on Monitor Phase. Start the injection and acquisition at the same time. If you have set a region of interest, the scan will start automatically as soon as the selected enhancement threshold is reached. Otherwise, click on Acquisition Phase to start the scan at the desired time.
In order to see your reconstructions without closing the patient folder and verify the absence of patient motion, click Repeat Series. Here, the Dual Energy Acquisition, or DECT, otherwise known as Spectral Acquisition, makes a monoenergetic reconstruction possible at a low energy to promote the study of pulmonary arteries. Ideally, this is at about 40 keV. A reconstruction called iodine water or iodine no water was also programmed to evaluate the pulmonary perfusion and search for non-perfused areas. Finally, you can click on end examination. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them that they may get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions as indicated at your facility. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.